This picture as, is of a world map showing all of the continents to include North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. This map also shows the oceans to include the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic, Arctic, and Indian Ocean. One point on this map that's important to note is the equator, the line that crosses the middle of the Earth. In conclusion, this is a broad overview of our world. This figure shows earning in utopia by sex, comparing the salaries of men and women. It also includes their age. You can see that the highest salary is earned by men and women in the age brackets of 40 to 44 and 35 through 39, while people earning the lowest salaries are 85 plus. This is an overall view of the, the earnings by sex in Utopia. This graph is showing the holiday accommodation chosen most and least by the British in 2010. It compares self-catering, caravan, camping, and hotels in four areas. Those four areas are England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. You can see that hotels in all places are the highest accommodation chosen by percentage. Whilst caravans, this chart shows us CO2 levels versus volcanic activity. So what we're looking at here is a comparison between the atmospheric CO2 parts per million compared to the stratospheric optical thickness. It has three points that are very important, Arugana, El Chino, and Pentatubo are the three spikes in stratospheric optimal thickness. This picture is a picture of the periodic table of elements. It is highlighted in many different colors. It has orange, blue, purple, green, and a lighter blue. This is a chart depicting the element numbers, and the element numbers represent the weight of the elements. This is an overall graph that can help in chemistry. These pie charts depict Malaysia, the United States of America, and the UK, and compare how much they have in landfill, recycled, or disposed. We can see that the largest amount of landfill is in the United States at 50%, compared to 15% in the UK and 30% in Malaysia. It's also important to note that the UK has the highest number of recycled. This is a good graph that compares 